Hey guys, what's up? Zooch here. If you're anything like me, you're going to spend Thanksgiving, presuming you're in the United States, trying to avoid interacting with some of your in-laws. I, I love my family, but sometimes I just need to get away from it all. So that's why I'm putting out this video today uh, as a sort of gift to you to run off to and scurry and watch, I don't know, in the bathroom or something uh, as a way to distract yourself from interacting with family members. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I have sort of wanted to take a different tact when it comes to doing some deck lists recently, or, or I guess these video deck techs. Um, one of the things I wanted to try to explore is to take other people's decks more frequently and put them through the paces and sort of see what I think. I've done that in the past with like my Cranky High video and my Sordella video. And so today I didn't really have a deck that I wanted to showcase. I've already sort of showed off the two that I've been working on most recently. So I went to the Duelist subreddit and just sort of like scrolled down until I came across the first post that was like, what do you guys think of my deck? It is uh, Tomaguin's deck. It's a Cassival list. And here it is. So full disclosure, I have played a total of zero matches with this deck so far. So I can't comment on anything just yet. It looks like a pretty... I don't know, typical Cassivalist. There are a couple notable uh, differences, I guess, in my opinion. The first being there's no Right of the Undervolts. I don't know if that was a change based on the recent nerf to it or not, but that's sort of a notable exclusion. And instead, we've got two Spelljammers. I can't really comment on whether these are going to be as good or not. I I'm likely to assume that they are going to be better. I've never really been a huge fan of Right of the Undervolt um, in a deck where you're not playing, I don't know, a lot more low drops, but who knows? Actually, this has plenty of low drops, so maybe I'm just talking out my butt. Uh, it's only got one Obliterate, which is probably fine, although, I don't know, it's sort of like your end game scenario, right? Maybe I would want a second, but other than that, um, yeah, it'd be all right. And then we've got some Void Pulse, which I haven't seen in a whole lot of lists recently. It's a card that I actually really like, and I find it really annoying to deal with uh, as the opponent. Anyway, why don't we just jump in, and we will play a couple matches. All right, I will see you on the other side. Abyssian versus ah. Abyssian. Hey, we're playing Grinch round one. Okay, well, don't mess up. Oh, it's got these uh, Ghost of Zillias as well. Forgot about that. I didn't play those in the, the last Cassava deck that I played. I'm going to get rid of this. This is really more of a late game card. And I guess I'm going to hope that I draw some, um, I don't know, early stuff to do. Let's see. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Repulsor Beast. Hey, there we go. Go ahead and spinning darkness. This thing. Play this bad boy out here. Pray to goodness that it doesn't go on this. All right, there we go. How do I approach this matchup? I feel like I've got to keep these for Blood Moon Priestesses, and it, it feels to me like it'll probably be a good matchup. We'll see. Gloom Chaser. Already? Oh shit. Is not messing around. Okay, let's get rid of Void Pulse. <laughs> oh, I don't even have any. Well, let's just do this then. Boop. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I can show that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to. Blank out his name. We'll see. All right, one and zero. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was too funny. Abyssian right. versus Vanar. 
are playing zero zero HP. He's already dead, essentially. Well, this is a great starting card. These are almost certainly going to be turned into wolves or uh, chromatic colded. But I think, nonetheless, I want to keep at least one of them. I'm going to throw one of them back. Uh, I think I'm inclined to try to find something. Else. Maybe I could throw them away. I, I don't know. Because right now, we're going to play this down. It's almost certainly not going to get us four mana. So, to the extent that this is a good card, I'm just worried that it might be a little uh, problematic for me to cast since we're not going to hit four mana until turn three. And I really like keeping both of these, and obviously I'm going to keep this. I actually think I'm going to throw this away. It's going to be better later in the game anyway. I don't want this to die to, like, I don't know, a Dancing Blade or a uh, White Asp or something like that. I'd much rather have uh, even, like, a uh, spell jammer, right? Or another Ooze. All right, go get him, Ooze. I guess I should save that for when he goes to actually get them. But, okie dokie. Primus Fist. All right. Let's see. Do we get four mana? Or... No. Where are you going, Ben? <laughs> I kind of want to keep Void Pulse, but I think this guy Lana is going to do some work. So let's just go ahead. And um, I normally, I think, would be inclined to not use the Demonic lure right here, but I don't really have anything else to do, and it keeps him from getting five mana. I could have kept him from getting five mana regardless. This seems really loud. I hope that wasn't too loud for anybody else. Alright, maybe I'll Put it just slightly louder like this. Hopefully I don't get drowned out by the, the sounds of the game. Rawr, I'm sad. <laughs> Shieldmaster. Golly. Alright. Ah. <laughs> So I am going to almost certainly play the Kailano. I'm going to keep all of these cards. Um, I think I could throw away Sphere of Darkness. It's such a good card, though. But uh, these are going to deal with all of this other bullshit. So I'll just throw this away for now. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. We're just going to take the mana, not use it, and uh, smash into him. So unless he's got some, I don't know, awesome way to deal with this Kailano, he's going to have a uphill climb. He might have a, a um, what is it called, cryogenesis to kill it. But that's probably the only thing I could see him having maybe dancing blades but no one plays that anymore okie dokie he's running away chromatic cold sure <laughs> primus fist okay hmm. interesting that he would put it right there where I can just kill it Okay. I'm gonna get rid of Blood Tear, I think. Like, these still seem really good in conjunction with one another. I don't know what he's got going on in his hand, but he's playing Primus Fists, which make me think that he's got a lot of low health guys, like a bunch of low drops. So, this is nice one two to kill his stuff. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's just do this now, see what we get. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, let's do this here. I'm going to come off the wall and 
kill this guy. And then I'm going to just block him down here. I don't want him to attack the, the good one. <laughs> so this is just going to block um, his access to the healthy Kailano. I could come up here and attack, but I actually kind of want to make sure that this doesn't die to a general attack. And then I can healing mystic it back up to sort of a reasonable health pretty soon. How did we... How is this life total so close? I guess he warbirded us. <laughs> Alright, good. He's already used one chromatic cold, which makes me happy about this uh, Abyssal Juggernaut's chances. Especially if he uses another removal spell on the fresh Kailana. Frostburn. No! Alright. Well, it took us whole turn, so I'm pretty happy about that. M. I'm going to come here, hit, and then play these two. Still holding on to these, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I kind of actually want to get rid of something. Um, Alright, he's going to go to 15. And what do we want to do? I guess I'm going to get rid of this, because right now I kind of just want to replace until I find um, some spectral revenants. Like, that's all I really want at this point in time, right? So let's just go ahead, hit him. What could I do here? So my original thought was uh, Healing Mystic Abyssal Jarkernaut be a 6-6. Six, six. be hard for him to kill it, but not impossible. I like that more than the Sphere of Darkness because it just gets another body on the board if he does have an answer. And then I can sort of surprise him with a, a pump spell. Hey, a third Kailana. That's got to be infuriating for him. One thing to note, I put the Healing Mystic here in case he has something like, I don't know, Lightbender. That way he couldn't he can only light bender one of my creep tiles by putting it here if he wants to get this. I don't know as if he would play that card. It seems sort of weird in Vanar, but it's one of the things that I sort of try to keep in mind when I can. I assume that this is not going to survive. Okay. That's pretty much what I figured. Jack's True Sight is kind of annoying. Not really, though. Like... How close to dead is he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, let's go ahead and just Sphere of Darkness this, like, one way, way up here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to replace the ooze. This is going to hit this. I'm going to hit this. This is going to hit Faye, and then I'm going to ping this. I don't really need ooze. I, I want to keep this uh <laughs> perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and get this bad boy as well. Man, this is this is pretty good for uh any potential future Jaxes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna come way over here. Here, I think. Oh my god. How brutal. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. I know that I'm putting this sort of like right in harm's way, but I kind of imagine that we've got this game on lock, so unless he does something really impressive, I I don't know. Like his his jaxes just don't matter <laughs> anymore. That was great. And we got pretty lucky, but also pretty happy about how that panned out. Okay, well, I'm not an expert, but probably going to kill those guys. Okay, uh, I think you're dead. Just outright, right? Oh, yeah, you're super dead now. Let's go ahead and get... 
That seemed to be pretty good. All right, we're two and zero. Oh, I guess I'm gonna say two and zero oh for right now. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna show that first game. That was pretty not, not that interesting. Bubbling Beebles. This guy probably played Magic: The Gathering. Oh, hello. Is this worth it to keep in hand? Um, no. Is this worth it to keep in hand? Uh, no. Well, I'll get rid of one of these two. Well. Let's just do this. This is sort of my anti abyssal crawler tech, right? Okay. I'll probably take care of this just to see what I get. Um, and then figure out whether I want to play this ooze somewhere where he can't hit it or if I want to play it on this mana spring. And the reason, I'm, I'm just going to take the mana tile from him. I, that's more important to me than uh, dealing one damage to his healing mystic. Okay, let's put this over here. I'm going to put it here so that if he comes here and attacks me with healing mystic it's not going to attack that and if he comes up and places anything on these two spots it's going to attack that so i don't know if that's good enough or not we'll see oh fiend oh he got me <laughs> okay Hmm, okay. Um, let's get rid of Repulsor Beast. I don't really need that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Okay. Is it worth it to not let him get the mana? Probably, because you can just ping it to kill it, right? So... It's just going to ping it anyway. Might as well save myself the trouble. Let's see. I think we're going to hold on to this Obliterate. I'm not exactly sure. Ah, you butthead. Do, do, do. Good. So I can demonic lure. It'll go to four. Hit it. It'll go to two. One. And ping it. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And, yeah. All right. And I'm going to keep the healing mystic and heal my guy, probably. Okay, and just to make sure this is mine, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and move this here. Right, so dealing with the Kailana is probably the most important thing I could do at this point in time. And I am... He already... Oh, he didn't use his, uh, his Abyssal Scar. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to put this somewhere where he's not going to get to it. Put it right here. I don't want his grasp of darkness to be able to kill two of my guys. So let's just do it like this. Hmm. Chai is so sad. Yeah, so one thing I thought of, by the way... Oh, he didn't move. Was putting it, like, over here so he couldn't run away so that this Ghost Azalea will be really good. All right, he's down to 20. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 
Ooh, this is nice. I just get to kill his guy. Is that worth it? Just take five and, and smash into this thing? Probably. All right, Brian got home. Kill this thing. Come up. Uh, I'll come up over here. Pretty happy how this is panning out. So, do I get to attack him at all? Like, he is in sort of a pickle. Because I get to spectral him. And then follow it up with an obliterate. I have to just make sure I don't die to his spectral revenant. So I have to stay above eight life. Or, you know, whatever he could possibly do to me. We got six things out. So this does six. This survives. Uh, it'll do. Ah! Buttheads. Ooh, that's really annoying. It's gonna ding something off of this. Yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of Spectral Blade. Oh, shit. <laughs> right, he's at 8. We're at 11. So, unless he's got something really good, I think he's dead. I mean, who knows, though? He could have a lot of stuff. But if he has just Spectral, then we've got it, right? Because it will kill his Spectral, and then we can attack him for the last little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So we can kill it. Well, actually, yeah. Ruby Rifter. Oh my gosh. All right, he needs Void Pulse to not die. Sphere of Darkness is not enough. Why don't he use Abyssal Scar? Didn't he have it active? Alright, you're dead. Didn't do my math very well, but he was still dead regardless. Okie dokie. Oh, we're through now. All right, we got one more. <coughs> Versus I see magic eight. All right. Um, these are maybe good, especially with this. This is, again, a really good little combo, especially for uh, Argeon, which just kind of historically always plays a bunch of dumb idiots. Don't need to though, probably. Well, yeah, the first one can kill his guy. Yeah, I don't mind just uh, using one right now to kill his thing, right? Do, do, do. You're dead. Don't kill my thing, no. You know, I really should have moved over here. There's no point in me, uh... Hmm. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Well... Hmm. Let me get rid of the spectral a little too early. Oh my. 
I guess it can just grasp grasp. It kills both of these. Seems a little weak though. And is it worth dealing him six points of damage? I think I'm gonna wait. Actually. I think I'm gonna wait. If I put this up here. Then uh he can't get out with any of his guys. Yeah, I, I like this play. I, I like waiting. So I'm not gonna even attack, because then next turn I can hit it to kill it and just blow up everything. Like, I could have used both grasps to kill all of his guys, but... Oh, he didn't even, uh... Interesting. After Blaze, alright. Oh. Yikes. Hmm. Okay. So I can, let's see, Demonic Lure plus Grasp Grasp kills this, and I'm wondering if there's any merit to um, getting a ping out of it or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, right? There. So grasp. Grasp. Uh, I'll go ahead and ping this guy. Hit this. And then all of a sudden he's at nine. Wait, not nine. Nine? No, that's wrong. Fourteen. Oh, still close enough. Hey, that's pretty good. Hopefully he can't kill my uh, trucker nut. Slow, all right. Ah, oh, you butthead. Gah, golly, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm at six. This is kind of a problem. Let's go ahead and put that there. All right, do I need this? So if I attack, stay at six, go to seven at the end of his turn, go to seven on his turn. Uh, go to eight on his turn. And then he can attack me for one, two, three, four, five, six, four. I'm just wondering if I, if he has an after blaze, do I lose? I kind of want to put this here so he can't hit me twice. I think that's what I'm going to do, especially if slow hits that. That's going to be great. So let's go ahead and put that there and attack. So we should be going to eight, uh, and then either stay at eight or go to nine when it attacks. No oh, good. Okay. Well, not really good because then he has to just attack at once with that. Here is the question. So if he had an after blaze, I think he could have killed me. Um, it would have been like. Okay. okay. Iron Cliff Guardians. No bueno. Do I hit his Iron Cliff Guardian?
but he does Iron Cliff Guardian. So, two, three, four, five. You can only do five right now. If I hit his Iron Cliff Guardian with Spectral Revenant, he is still going to kill me with Divine Pond. So that's sort of a moot point. He can kill me with Tiger either way. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this. And, uh... Attack like this. I die to a whole bunch of stuff, but he's also dead if he doesn't have anything, right? So... Uh-oh. Yeah, Tiger does it. No! Harumph. Alright, well, let's play one more, because the, uh, the first game we played didn't really count, right? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Do, do, do. This hand seems pretty much insane, so I'm going to just keep all of it. Get to plop all these dum-dums down. Good times, good times. Oh my gosh, hand keeps getting better and better. Alright, what has he got? What's he got? What do you got? What is it? What'll it be? <laughs> Falkish. Okay. Seems like a sort of real mediocre use of a Falkius, but hey. Okay. I'm going to keep everything still. I can see getting rid of the demonic lore. <laughs> I don't really want to sphere of darkness anything because uh, it seems like a real waste. Yeah, but let's get rid of this. We we got other stuff we can do. Oh yeah. So we're going to play this up here, put this here, and the reason we didn't put it right behind us, in case he has a blast artifact, I don't want him to blast us. Alright, oh, that's going to be interesting. Are we going to keep it though, right? Sleepy Giant. Well, that's no fun. I find that very surprising placement because now I just come up here, put my Abyssal Juggernaut down, hit it, and then Abyssal Scar it. And then he's got to deal with that. Like, well, I would have just taken the Mana Tile if I were him, even though we wouldn't have had any use for it. So let's just do that. And do I keep this? Probably. Like, we've got this. We're going to have a bunch of... We've already got four um, Shadow Creep tokens. It's going to be five. This seems like a little early, I guess. Like, we're not going to have it for another several turns, but we've only got the one. I'll, I'll get rid of it for now. Knowing Duelist, it'll come back. Oh, that's even better. Holy shit. <laughs> he kind of needs... Uh, either a Siphon Energy or an Entropic Decay, like, right now. Hexblade also does it. Oh, Hexblade plus Psionic Strike. Sure, sure. That does it. That's a nice little answer. He's going to lose the Hexblade. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and Sphere of Darkness this right here. And then hook this bad boy up. So he's going to lose a 
charge at the end of the turn, and then... Yeah, I like this. Rawr. I'm going to keep my guy... I'm going to move it here. Um, so that... If I end up... Uh, if he ends up Stars Furying, he can't use the... My Ghost Azalea. And I'm going to get rid of the Spectral Blade, I think. Because... I want to keep both of these to help deal with any artifacts he might have, since he's clearly like an artifact deck. Let's get rid of this. And at this point in time, I just kind of want to go until I find a Spectral Revenant. Like, just keep replacing until I hit Spectral Revenants. Our opponent actually is just straight up dead if he doesn't have a way to deal with me. I'm our healer. is a good one. All right, well... Let's go ahead and put. Well, let's go ahead and. Uh, hmm. I would really like, if I could, to replace first without casting this. If I attack, I go to seven. That seems really, really bad. This would put me up to 11. All right, Spelljammer, get out of here. All right, I guess I'm going to put this down. Yes! Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. God, better lucky than good. All right, uh, that should be game. We could have actually... Just killed him with that attack by pinging our own guy, but I'd much rather keep our guy alive. Alright, well, we did pretty well. We got pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie, like, we got pretty lucky in some of these games. <laughs> but overall, the deck seemed good. We never ended up running out of gas, which was something I thought was going to happen, considering there's really only the two spell jammers. But I guess near the late game, you're just... Like, once you get past turn four or five, you're, you're just trying to find four specific cards. I'm just sort of, like, cycling through everything else. So you don't really need card draw if uh, you're just planning on casting a couple seven drops throughout the course of the last several turns. Anyway, uh, that was it. We ended up four and one, uh, maybe three and one, depending on if I cut the first match or not. I don't know if there's a good way to edit it out, but we'll see. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, I don't know, leave them in the comments or ask me in Discord or ask me personally, if you happen to know me personally. Uh, follow me on Twitch and YouTube and Twitter. All the information is below. I've got the deck bliss below if you're interested. This is uh, Tomaguin's deck. Again, I took it from Reddit, to, he said, you know, I want to show that my deck's good, and this seemed like a pretty good showing, although, all things considered, it didn't seem much different from a typical cast of a list. We didn't cast Repulsor Beast once. We, uh, I think we cast Void Pulse once. Anyway, it seemed pretty good. All right, thanks, guys.